Hey guys, welcome to our unique vlog where we're gonna present to you three different dimensions or perspectives of what it's like to go to Monash University. My name is Kunj Dev and I hope you follow along with me and my two other friends, Rune Shah and Jidin Verma in this video today. I'll let the formal introduction be done by Jidin Verma later on. But right now I'm having breakfast. Normally only do two wheat bits, but I normally eat three to four, and that's basically because engineering is a pretty hard to do. Hi hey guys, uh, my name is Jordan Verma, and today I'm going to be filming the day in the life of an engineering slash commerce student um, at Monash University. Um, currently it is 6.47, uh, the bus is pretty soon, forgot the time, trains at 7.17 though, see if we can make it, let's go! Oh, well, luckily today there's some daylight, about a month ago, I used to wake up and it used to be completely dark. I used to leave my house in the morning in complete darkness. I used to come back home in complete darkness as well. Uh, today I've got a pretty long day. Uh, our classes for me started about 9 o'clock. Um, today's a bit of an unusual day in my classes. I have a bit of an optional class that runs from about 6 to 8 today. So, yeah, it's going to be a long day at uni. Uh, don't worry guys, not every day is like this though. Um, most of your classes you can... You can pick and choose when you wanna when you wanna have them. Most of mine are like during the start of the day, so I finish by about afternoonish, about two, four-ish between that time. Today's just an odd day. All right, let's run for the bus. So unlike other mainstream universities like RMIT, Melbourne Uni, Monash is like really far away from in the city. So for me, I need to take I need to take two trains and a bus, which takes about one and a half to two hours. And how the Monash engineering course structure works is that your first year as an undergraduate, you do every single type of engineering unit, and then you only specialize from the second year. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll introduce you guys to some of my friends today, and I guarantee you, you're gonna know some of them already. Huh? You gotta get the added ass in there. Double degree options. So you like that Monash? So far it's been alright, yeah. I chose Monash because my parents told me to. <laughs> That's <a> good <laughs> What degree or what course are you planning? I'm doing to? I'm planning, I'm doing engineering. No, you're doing engineering, but what's engineering and computer science double degree. What type of engineering? Electrical. Why electrical? My dad told me to. <laughs> Oh, it's... 
Alright, what, what do you have to say? Well, what, what do you have to say about um, traveling to Monash? Yeah. Quite a long way. Yeah, can you, you reckon it's worth traveling all uh, the way here? Um, you know what? Yeah, it is. I, I reckon it's pretty worth it. It's a pretty good university. I reckon. Uh, sure, sure. Oh, sure. You, you have any comments? No, no, it's <laughs> definitely not worth traveling. <laughs> you don't think so? No, man, not at all. I reckon it's definitely worth it. Alright, so we're at Clayton Campus now. Monash yeah. nice Campus. Just walking, walking to the thing. <laughs> Monash campus. Uh, it's a Kunj van. Kunj, tell us, tell us about your uh, units, man. Alright, so I have an engineering 10.03 unit, which is about soft engineering. Yep. And then after that, in the evening, I have 10.02, which is about electrical, chemical, and materials engineering. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. What about you, Vun? What have you got today? So, first up, we have a uh, subject called Edge 1060, which is a MATLAB base subject it's about coding on MATLAB uh, it's a pretty common unit through all universities yeah like, for engineering students yeah yeah engineering and even like if you're doing biomed or something like that people do MATLAB as well biomed as well oh nice yeah. nice nice yeah so, so yeah nice uh, so I've got I've got 1060 as well with Brun and then I've got 1002 with Kunj in the evening today bit of electrical yeah. engineering should be good should be good So as part of our second assignment in uh, engineering mobile apps at Monash, we're working on this app and so far we only worked on how to find the current address of the user. So if you click this, I mean, you should hopefully get the right address right. in a while. <laughs> well, that's not exactly Monash cladded, but I guess it's close enough. And we're still working on getting this more accurate. So I'm at the, <coughs> so I'm at the microwave now, heating up my food. Just finished my after engineering unit. Pretty good. So guys, we found a spot in the library. Back is in the library. Working on our um, assignments. Yeah. So we're on our way to Edge 1005. Sharon, what do you have to say about this subject? Right, it's fucking hard. It's hard. Yeah, very true. So we have a quiz today and hopefully it goes well. Uh, hey guys, uh, so Vroon's probably heading home at this moment now. Um, I've still got a electrical engineering group meeting, which goes on till about 8pm tonight. And Kunj has got an electrical engineering prac coming up pretty soon. So that concludes the end of the day for me and Sharon. Heading home now. This is a bus loop. First year engineering at Monash. First year engineering, which you learn so many different things in so many different areas, and it just feels really good that you're learning so much, even though you won't be using it. But yeah, that's, that's what I like about it. 
just arrived at Tiny Station. Just got to wait for our bus and then we can go home to find the bus ride from here. In our electrical engineering unit, we were tasked with building a lamp. Um, our group decided to build our lamp out of Lego as its external frame. Um, the lamp should be able to be turned on and off, obviously. Um, should be able to be dimmed, um, should have a flashing function, and yeah. So guys, thanks for joining me today, guys. Appreciate it. On the way back, now just walking home. Should be home in roughly about a minute or so. Just got off the bus. Okay. Just finished electrical engineering and heading off home now because I'm done with all my units. Now it's basically a two hour journey back home. So I'm leaving at like 5.20, 5.30. It's because I finished my practical early today for electrical engineering. So if I don't have to wait too long for the trains and buses, I should make, should be home by seven o'clock. Something like that. So guys, <coughs> almost uh, almost home. Just like a 10 minute walk remaining. It gets pretty dark here. So like, especially because I have long days, which end at six. So I get home by like seven, eight. So hopefully you've been following along with all of us. And let's find out what the other two guys are up to. Uh, hey guys, Jiden signing off for today. It's been a hell of a day, it's about 8 o'clock now. Just about to leave university, finally. Just gonna, parents pick me up today, it's pretty lucky. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. Uh, so it's almost 10.30 now, guys. So Thursdays are pretty hectic days for me, and once I get home from uni, I don't have much time to do anything else. But we would just like to thank you for following our journeys today. So hopefully you found our video entertaining and we, we hope that it helps you if you wish to choose Monash like we did. So guys, if you liked our video, please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much. Nice. Later.